Well, this morning we are leaving. It is approximately 6.30, I think, and we're heading off to Progresso. So we're going to go down there and check it out for a bit. So we're leaving Cosmo, 6.30. We're just about to walk down to grab the ferry for 7. We should be in Playa del Carmen by quarter two. And then we'll walk, go get a car, jump in the car. We'll do some uh, footage of some road trips right across the other side. Yay. Should be a good time. Awesome. And you sound like you're bright eyed and bushy tailed and ready to go. Well, there's, <laughs> there's limitations. <laughs> All right, we arrived on the Malgar to the ocean front. Really quiet this morning. Roads are wet, a little drizzle. It's not raining right now, so. Oh, and it looks like the ocean is nice and calm, hopefully. Ah, oh, yeah. So we've arrived at the ferry terminal and we're just going to go purchase our ticket and head over to Playa. Looks like the boat's ready to go. This will be the first boat leaving. We've got about five minutes, so we a skidoodle. Five minutes, no problem. They'll let little Sammy in. They said that on their website it says that she's allowed to come on the boat uncrated as long as she's on top standing outside. So now we're just uh, arriving at the ferry port. We do have to get our temperature check before going in, making sure masks are on. And we're on our way to purchase our tickets. Uh, Donna and I do have our temporary residency, so we do have a discount. And uh, Nicholas is going to pay full price. But uh, so here we are at the counter uh, getting our tickets. So we need to get a dog muzzle for Sam to be able to get on the boat. He's just a safety yeah, you got precaution. It. Once we purchased our tickets, we simply go to the security scan here for our luggage and all personal belongings. And from there, uh, we go up the escalator and follow the guidelines to entering our boat to cross over to Playa del Carmen. So today's ferry is actually the Windjet and uh, we are going to get a ticket for our luggage. So they're going to put our luggage in a separate compartment and then from there um, we can go ahead and get on the boat, select our seat. But because we have Sammy, we're going to be seated outside. Uh, those are the regulations and of course she has to have her muzzle on. Um, and let's see, hopefully we'll have a great trip across. As you can see, uh, there's uh, the seats are quite uh, spacious, comfortable. The ferry is fairly busy. It's first thing in the morning. A lot of uh, Cosmillions will be working in Playa del Carmen, so they do this uh, trip every day. Uh, so now we're on the second level, and we are going to head towards the outside of the ship. 
uh, to be able to sit there with Sammy and uh, also enjoy the, the great views. Uh, I just wanted to also mention that the ferry does have television uh, screen inside uh, and occasionally you're going to have a live band singing and performing for the passengers. We're just about halfway. Okay, so now we've arrived in Playa del Carmen. We had to give our ticket in order to pick up our luggage. It got a little bit busy there and that crowded, so I didn't bother recording. Um, but we are just getting off the dock. We have a car rental that is waiting for us. And then from there, we're gonna start uh, heading across and do a road trip to Progresso. We'll keep you guys uh, with us along the way and hopefully we'll be able to share some uh, pretty neat adventures. Rained on. We should wait. Okay, so we're in our little car rental, a Chevy Beat, you said, Don? <laughs> I, I believe that's what it was called, yes. Yeah. yeah. And it's lovely. Coffee? It's yeah. lovely. <laughs> we are in Playa del Carmen. Yeah. Just picked up the rental. We're going to look up some directions and we're going to start making our way heading to Merida. Merida? Merida. When he stops laughing at the Nicholas. car. Yeah, and we're gonna hit Mer uh, Merida first and then make our way over to uh, Progresso eventually. Yeah, so about a four hour tour, guys. Uh, four, four and a half, and uh, yeah, we'll give you a couple videos along the way. Should be fun. Yeah, <laughs> all right, off we go. So, before we continue, just wanted to let you know that we did reserve our vehicle with America Car Rental, we have used them in the past. Only suggestion is that you do reserve your vehicle with a credit card payment online. Otherwise, there is no guarantee that your vehicle will be there the next day. Monkey climbing cars, but anyways. Uh, we're about, uh, probably about 20 minutes uh, to El Pintal, I believe it's called. And then from there, we're just gonna go west uh, towards Merida. Once we find a gas station. We do need to find a gas station. We're down to like three bars. We just bought the rental and we received it. No gas. With pretty much no gas. So we're hoping to find a gas station. Otherwise, well, we'll have to be creative. <laughs> find some gas. Alright, so we're just uh, entering our first toll. Apparently there's going to be a few of these. And uh, let's see, let's see how much it is. Mustang coming. Okay, so what does it say? Cedral or a plaza? 180 D highway. And I've asked you, or plaza. Oh, so where did we come from? Playa. I know that. It says Cedral. Oh, Playa. Oh, okay. So we came from Playa. So 282 pesos. 282 pesos for a car. From Playa. From Playa, yeah. Oh. And if you're on a motorcycle, it's 141 pesos. Nice. Yeah. And if you're a transport, it's 1500. That's big money. Big money. So it's like $12 or something. Just about. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's actually quite a bit. If you it is. Tw yeah, $12 yeah. is a lot. For a toll Hopefully well, this is the one major one. But I guess that always comes back to... Hola. Buenos dias. Muchas gracias. Oh, that would be too bad. No. All right. <laughs> All right. We need to find a gas station <laughs> again. Right. We got about 40 kilometers to go. If we got no gas, the final bar is flashing and warning us. We, so. <laughs> we actually hit a bump, and then all of a sudden it went ding, ding, and <laughs> dropped down to no bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we'll God. see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, gas hotel. stations are far and few in between once you hit the highway. Yeah, we made it to the gas station just on time. Um, that one bar that was flashing ended up being like no bar with like the gas light on at maybe about eight kilometers to the gas station. So we're gonna Google up for fun to see how much how many liters a Chevy Beat holds because it took 33 uh, liters. And it came out to uh, was it uh, seven hundred and sixty pesos? Hola, señor. Uh, no, we came from Playa. Oh, we're going to Merida. Merida. That's it, señor. What's your ticket? Ticket, so that was uh, roughly 200 pesos. Yeah. 196 pesos for something. Okay, so now we're just about in Progresso, crossing over a bridge, and uh, the water looks absolutely amazing. Look at the marinas, they are massive, and apparently there's quite a few marinas. So we're going to try to um, visit the different marinas, and uh, right now we are absolutely starving, so we're going to try to find a beach. Uh, possibly oceanfront restaurant, just grab a bite to eat, and from there we will head off to the house that we have rented for the week. We have arrived in Progresso, very excited. We're heading down towards the oceanfront at this point in time, just uh, trying to give you guys a visualization of what the town looks like as we're driving through. It does look like your typical Mexican town, lots of uh, colorful buildings with concrete walls, etc. So we'll keep you guys along with us for a little bit and then we will head off to the ocean.
Look at how long this pier is. It's supposedly one of the longest piers in the world. And I believe it's at 6.5 kilometers long. And you can see off in the distance that there's actually a cruise ship here today. And the waters are out really beautiful, actually. Uh, shallow waters. You can see also that there's transport uh, vehicles uh, bringing stuff to the mainland here. So now we're just going to go and finally grab a bite to eat and then uh, walk the boardwalk and take you guys along. meal. Now we're simply walking down the boardwalk uh, in Progresso, noticing how everything is clean. Um, really, there's not a whole lot of people. It's not completely packed. It's a very nice, peaceful, beautiful day. And uh, we're heading back out to our car rental. And from there, we're going to go to Shakurba, which is probably about, I'm assuming, 20 minutes from here. And we're going to check out the house that we rented for the week. her yard. Sam! Come on! Let's go! So our house is approximately two small blocks from the ocean and we're just walking over now to take a look at the ocean front, uh, see what it looks like and hopefully enjoy some time. It's just absolutely stunning here. There's no one on the beaches. You can walk forever. It's vast. Uh, you know, the, the sand is absolutely beautiful as well. Nice clean beaches. It just goes on forever and ever and you pretty much feel like you're all by yourself in a little piece of heaven. So I highly recommend visiting Shakurba and walking the beaches here. It is now time to head back to Cozumel. We're quite excited to be heading back to Cozumel. Uh, we definitely miss our little islands, so um, that's a definitely a good sign. Right now we're driving to Merida, which is the capital of the Yucatan, and we're just on the highway that goes around the city of Merida. And it looks like Merida is quite a big city. I do plan on coming back here at one point in time, uh, spending a couple of nights here, maybe do some shopping and explore a little bit more. Uh, the other thing that's really interesting about Merida is that it is the safest city to live in in Mexico. So I uh, would love to come back and uh, maybe do some uh, tourism activities and definitely come and do some shopping here.
So I'm not going to take you along our road trip this time. Um, it's very similar to the same road trip that we took on our way in. And we do have a full tank of gas, so I will skip along and um, forward straight to Playa. So now we're back in Playa del Carmen. We've returned our car rental and we are just taking a walk down the shops. And uh, we're going to head back to the ferry and hop on a ferry and return back home to our wonderful little paradise of Cozumel Island. Oh my 
Okay, okay, I know you don't want to hear me. Don't get used to it. Used to you hating her? Oh my god. La foto, la foto, amigos. Ooh la la. <laughs> Look at me. We need to get some water then for them. Huge coconut, massive. So we've purchased our tickets. We're heading off to the ferry right now. Uh, it's leaving shortly, and um, we are uh, leaving Playa del Carmen, heading back to Cozumel. This time around, we're actually taking the Ultramar ferry. There are two ferries that run on a daily basis. We've got the Windjet, uh, which is the one that we took from Cozumel to the mainland. Um, and as we're heading back home, we are heading off um, on the Ultramar Ferry. And we'll leave it at that. That's the end of our trip. We hope you enjoyed um, watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And of course, uh, subscribe to our channel so you can follow our journey. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.